Hello friends, in this video, I'm going to show you the headroom modeling in SOLIDWELL. So let's get started. So first thing first, right click on the top view and choose sketch. And create this 2D sketch on this top plane by using all these dimension. Or you can use your own dimension. Now is it a sketch? Now let's use the uh, reference plane command. First reference will be this Y and second will be this X and click on confirm now right click on this play and choose normal 2 and create this 2d rectangle sketch on this new play now is it a sketch and let's use a sweep command select this cross section first and the path will be this one okay and confirm it and now let's go to the feature tab and choose a mirror feature Okay, let's choose the body option first. Select this body. And the mirror plane will be the right plane. And confirm it. Now let's go to the top view. Now let's create a reference plane. Our first reference will be this plane 1. And second will be this H. And click on confirm. Now let's go to the left side view. And create this 2D sketch on this new plane by using line, filler, and sublime command. You can use dim this dimension or you can use your own dimension. Now let's go to the surface tab and choose S2 surface. And let's S2 this to 20. Okay, I think we need to reverse the direction. And click on confirm. Now let's use the plane and surface command and select these agents and click on confirm now let's do the same to the other side now let's use the delete face command select this face and click on confirm now let's use the next service command and combine all these services Now let's use the lob service command and right click and choose selection manager and choose close loop select this H and click on confirm now let's use the selection manager again select this H and confirm it okay and confirm it one more time okay now let's use the mirror command again and our mirror plane will be the right plane and choose body option and select this body and click on confirm now let's use the next service command and combine all the services so as you can see i apply filler feature to all the edges at the junction i hope you got the same result Now right click on the right plane and choose sketch and click on convert to D and now select these agents and confirm it. Now let's use the offset command and let's offset this to 5 mm and select this H and click on confirm. Now let's delete the edges from the first selection now let's use the offset command one more time select this edge and set the offset to 2 mm and click on confirm now let's go to the survey step and use the trim command okay sketch will be this one and choose remove selection and remove these phases Okay, let's go to the other side and slur the face within this two curve. If you want to, you can remove the services from the inside faces.
And now let's go to the service tab and use the rule service command and select all these agents. And now click on confirm. And now let's hide some unnecessary services for now. And now let's use the lob service command. Right click and choose selection manager. And choose the group selection. And now select top edges. After that you need to use this uh, selection manager again to select the uh, edges at the lower services. Now let's use the next service command. Now let's unhide all the services. Okay, now let's use the mirror command to mirror the previous services. Our mirror plane will be the right plane and choose the body option. The body will be this surfaces. Okay, that's so great. Now confirm it. Now you need to do the same for the inside gap. So take your time to do it. Now let's use the next service command to combine all the services. After that, you can apply filler on these edges. Okay. Now right click on this service and choose number 2. And create this 2D sketch on this face by offsetting this borderline. Okay, now let's exit the sketch. Okay, now we need to create a new reference plane. Our first reference will be this face. Okay, let's put the distance about 13 mm and flip the direction okay and confirm it now let's go to the service tab and choose the trim service command trim tool will be this sketch and choose remove selection and select this face and click on confirm Now right click on this plane and choose number 2. And now right click on this plane and choose sketch. Now select previous sketch and click on convert D. Okay, now let's use the scale entity command. And select all these curves. Okay, now let's choose the center. Let's click right here and scale it down with the scale feather of 0 0.4 and confirm it. Now let's exit the sketch and let's use the love surface command. Select this first sketch and right click and choose selection manager and choose loop selection and select this edge. And click on confirm. Okay, let's move the control point to the right. And click on confirm again. Now right click on display and choose number 2. Now right click on display and choose sketch. Click on convert to the command and select this H. And confirm it. Okay, now let's use the scale entity command. Okay, let's scale it down to 0 0.8 and select this sketch. 
okay now we need to choose the center just click right here and confirm it now let's use the love surface command select this sketch and this edge okay let's move the control point to the right here and confirm it okay now we need to create one more reference plane our first reference will be this new plane and set the distance to 7 millimeter and flip the direction Now right click on this plane and choose normal do again.